Hey there, welcome back. So now you can locate and label Virginia and its bordering states on a map. That is awesome. Today, we're gonna to be looking at Virginia close up and seeing what the different regions have to offer. To show mastery of this objective, you should be able to locate and label each of Virginia's five regions, describe their physical features, and identify the bodies of water in and around Virginia, which were important to the early settlers. First, let's take a moment to look at Virginia as a whole. You can see in this map that Virginia has five regions, like we talked about in the objective. Starting from the right, we have the coastal plain or tidewater region. This is where we live. Moving further west, we have the Piedmont region in green, the Blue Ridge Mountains region in purple, the Valley and Ridge region in red, and lastly, we have the Appalachian Plateau region in yellow. Each region is going to have distinct geographical features, and that's what we're going to be focusing on today. We are located in the Tidewater region, also known as the Coastal Plain region. It is characterized by flat land and is located near the Atlantic Ocean and Chesapeake Bay. Lastly, it is east of the Fall Line. The Fall Line is an important geographical feature to know about. When colonists first came to Virginia, they traveled up the rivers to find new land. But the fall line was where the land rose into what we call the Piedmont region. This created waterfalls on the rivers and prevented colonists from traveling further westward. That brings us to the Piedmont region, which translates to land at the foot of the mountains. It becomes increasingly hilly and less densely populated in this region, which means that there are less people as there is a lot of farmland. There are a few big cities, however. The Piedmont region is home to Richmond and Northern Virginia, which is located just outside of Washington, DC. If Piedmont translates to land at the foot of the mountains, it only makes sense that directly west of this region, you moved into the Blue Ridge Mountain region. And it's just like it sounds. This region is characterized by old rounded mountains. These are the oldest mountains on earth. They formed over a billion years ago and belong to the Appalachian Mountain Range, which stretches from Newfoundland, Canada, all the way down to Alabama. The rivers flowing through the Piedmont and Tidewater regions originate at the top of these mountains. So when it rains and water flows down the mountains, it is flowing through these rivers and into the Atlantic Ocean. Moving beyond the Blue Ridge Mountains is the Valley and Ridge region, which is characterized by a large flat valley between mountain ranges on either side. Lastly, in the southwest corner of Virginia, you will find the Appalachian Plateau. This is also part of the Appalachian Mountain Range and is raised land with a flat top. So it kind of looks like a mountain that's had the pointy top chopped off. Now it's time to get back to some of those bodies of water that I mentioned previously. As I'm talking about them, take a look at the map to kind of figure out where they are in the coastal plain region. First, we need to be in the mindset of the English who were looking to settle in the Americas. They were traveling by boat, so they needed somewhere close to the coast so that, so that their supply ships could come and go as necessary. They also wanted to avoid unwanted attacks. The Atlantic Ocean provided easy travel between America and Europe, even though it took roughly three months one way. And the Chesapeake Bay was a safe harbor to prevent unnecessary attacks. Now let's talk about the rivers. The Potomac, Rappahannock, York, and James River that you can see labeled on this map were a great source of food and allowed exploration to the West. You made it to the end. 
Now that I've gone through all of the information for these two skills, I'm going to ask you again. Can you locate and describe Virginia's Tidewater, Piedmont, Blue Ridge Mountain, Valley and Ridge, and Appalachian Pla Plateau regions on a map of Virginia? Can you describe their geographical features? And lastly, can you locate and identify water features important to the early history of Virginia? And can you tell me why they were important? So how did they help the settlers? If you can answer these questions, then you are all set. If there's something that you are struggling with, go back, watch that information again, or you can ask me for help if you need it.